In today's video, we're going to share our review of Hostinger's VPS hosting. We're going to share what VPS hosting is, why you might prefer a VPS hosting over a shared one, and we will show you a brief walkthrough of how to set one up. And just a note about Hostinger, guys, we'll have that link down below in the description. Be sure to use our link for a special offer, and just know that we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. This really helps us keep creating free videos like this for you, so thank you so much in advance for your support. Okay, so let's first get started with what VPS actually means. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. Now let's briefly discuss the different types of servers and how we can think of them. So for the sake of illustration, let's say that a server is a physical computer. So there are shared servers, private servers, and dedicated servers. Shared servers share the resources on one computer with other websites. Shared servers are great for beginners with not much traffic going to their site. And when you see speeds start to slow, then it's probably time for a private server. A private server is a portion of a server or a computer in this illustration that's set aside just for your use. So there are still others using the same computer, but you have specific assets within that computer that are set aside just for you. And lastly is the dedicated server, which is basically a whole server or computer for your own use. And generally, as we go up the chain of command here, you're going to have better security and faster speeds. So now that we understand that the private server sits right between the shared service on the low end and the dedicated server on the high end, let's talk about why you might need a VPS or virtual private server and what to be aware of. Generally, a virtual private server or VPS is going to provide you better security, enhanced performance, and and more control over your server than a shared server would. Also with a VPS, you can modify the technical aspects of your server to get the best possible performance. Now you're obviously not going to be able to adjust these technical aspects as a beginner, but if you've hired somebody on your team to help with tech support or you're more advanced in your understanding of websites, then this might be the right option for you. To sum it up in general, you would want to get a VPS over a shared hosting for the following reasons. The first one is shared websites that have outgrown shared hosting. This is really referring to the volume of traffic on your site, the customization capabilities that you might need, and security concerns. The second reason is if your site requires specific server configurations. These configurations might be harder to do on a shared server or not possible at all. And the third reason is for developers needing a stable and scalable environment for testing. Okay, now that we understand a little bit more about why you might need a virtual private server over a shared server, let's talk about why we really like Hostinger and some of the great things about the company. So Hostinger is one of our favorite hosting platforms because of how affordable it is to host your website. Not only is it affordable, but Hostinger has one of the most seamless platforms that very easily integrates with WordPress. They also have an amazing customer service team and really great resources on their website. For my own website, when I started creating it, all of the forums actually really helped me understand how to use Hostinger better as well as WordPress. They have tons of articles on truly any question you might have, which really surprised me at first. Their wealth of resources on their site is actually top notch. They truly are one of the best hosting platforms and the most affordable, and I've used them for all of my websites over the past couple years. They've been around a long time as well. They were started in 2004 and they're actually one of the handful of platforms that WordPress recommends you use as a hosting service with WordPress. That truly speaks to the seamless integration between the two and the ease of the platform of Hostinger. Now that we understand a little bit about Hostinger and what a virtual private server is, let's go into some of the plans and pricing and take a look at what Hostinger has to offer. Go ahead and click on that link down below in the description and it should bring you to this page here and we can walk through these plans together. Once you're at the Hostinger landing page here for the virtual private private server, you'll see that for as little as $4.49 a month, you can have a plan started today. Also notice they have a 30 day money back guarantee. And I've actually used this before on one of my websites that we didn't end up using. And it was a really great and seamless service. This is one of the best things about Hostinger is this 30 day money back guarantee that they offer. So this is really at no risk to you just to try out for 30 days. You'll see with our special link here, you get up to 68% off VPS hosting. If you scroll down here, you'll see over 2 million customers are using them worldwide, which is pretty neat. And once you scroll to the bottom here, we get to the different plans. So let's just review them briefly and see what is going to be best for your situation. We have four different plans here. The first one, KVM1, starts at $449 a month and it's going to include one CPU core, four gigs of RAM, 50 gigs of disk space, as well as four terabytes of bandwidth. It's also going to include one snapshot, weekly backups, a dedicated IP address, full root access, Hostinger's AI assistant, and a malware scanner. This plan is really going to be best for most people. We recommend that you start out with this one and if you need more features, you can just upgrade later down the line. Let's just briefly go over a couple of the other plans to see if it might be right for your situation. The KVM2 plan starts at $699 per month, and this has two CPU cores. It also has eight gigs of RAM, it has 100 gigs of disk space, and it has eight terabytes of bandwidth. It also has one snapshot, weekly backups, a dedicated IP address, full root access, an AI assistant, and a malware scanner. And basically all of the plans here include one snapshot all the way to malware scanner. The next plan is KVM4, and it includes four CPU cores, 16 gigs of RAM, 200 gigs of disk space, and 16 terabytes 
gigabytes of bandwidth. And the KVM4 starts at 1049 per month. And the last one here is the KVM8 at 1999 per month. And this is the top plan. This includes eight CPU cores, 32 gigs of RAM, 400 gigs of disk space, and 32 terabytes of bandwidth. Depending on the needs for your specific situation, go ahead and choose which plan is right for you. If you're just starting out, we recommend just starting out with the KVM1. Let's go ahead and add the KVM1 to our cart here, and we'll show you exactly how to get your account set up. Once you've clicked add to cart, it'll bring you to this page here where you will have to choose the time period for your hosting. Now, the only one we don't recommend here is the one month option. It's just a lot more expensive to host just for one month. If you lock in for a 12 month period, you can lock in that 499 rate. So let's just go ahead and select the 12 month option here. Next, you can go ahead and create your account if you don't have one already with Hostinger. And once you've done that, you can scroll down to the bottom here and put in your payment information. So let's go ahead and enter our name and address here. And once you've done that, you'll see that the plan discount here is 64%. But do not miss this step. You want to make sure that you click have a coupon code here. Once you've done that, type in my first website, apply the code, and you'll see that you get an additional couple bucks off here. That'll give you the full 68% off that we talked about earlier. And the total for your whole year of hosting is $53.89. Like we said earlier, this is one of the most affordable plans you can get for hosting, especially for a virtual private server. This is one of the reasons why we really love hosting or as a hosting platform. After you finish with that, go ahead and enter your credit card information here. And once you're finished with that, go ahead and click submit secure payment. Now that we've reviewed the plans for the virtual private server, let's discuss some of the pros and cons of hosting VPS before we finish off the video here. Let's start with the pros. The first one is that hosting is super easy to use and they have an amazing interface that integrates seamlessly with WordPress. Not only that, it's one of the most affordable hosting plans on the internet. Their platform has great speeds, uptime, and amazing customer support. And hosting is extremely user-friendly despite the great customization features. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee, which is one of the best in the business. I've personally used it before and it's a really great feature to try out your website at no risk to you. Now let's talk about the con because there's not many drawbacks with using Hostinger. Really the only con are the limitations and resources for the lower plans. You do have to pay a little bit more if you want some of the higher features like more storage and more RAM. But still Hostinger's prices for those larger plans are very competitively priced so this isn't that big of a drawback. So that's all we have for you today for our review of Hostinger's VPS. Hostinger is one of our favorite hosting platforms because of the great product they provide. Affordability, great speeds, amazing interface, great customer service and support, and seamless integration with WordPress are some of the amazing features that we love about Hostinger. Like we said earlier, we're going to leave that link to Hostinger down below in the description. And if you do choose to use our link, it really does help out the channel. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. This channel is dedicated to providing you free videos and tutorials like the one you saw today to help you start and grow your first website. And if you're looking to start your first website and you don't know where to get started, we'll leave a link to a free tool that we created down below in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey, and we will see you in the next video.